Hi everyone and welcome back to the Hatter Dolls. It's a new year and we have a new video. Continuing with the custom dolls of Persona 5, it's the turn of Anta Kamaki, aka Panther. The first girl to join to the Phantom Tits and also is the first person in the group to meet Joker. I'm very excited to work on this character since I have always liked her design and the details she has. As always, in my Instagram I share with you the concept art of the character that I'm going to work. So, let's get to work and get started. For the base doll I'm going to use a second hand poppy of hair from Ever After High. I chose this one since I think her skin tone matches with Anne's skin color. As always, I will begin to remove the hair from the head. With all the head clean, I decided this time not to make a wig for this character, as I have done in my past videos. It's time for make reroute. First, I'm going to clean the head with pure acetone. And then, I'll paint her with the same color as her hair. With a fine brush, I draw the line that separates her hair in a zigzag way. And this is how she looks, now the hair. For the color, I'm gonna use Platinum Blonde using yarn. When someone reroot a doll, they usually use this type of tool, but I will not use it, instead I will use only a thick needle. In the next part, I want to show you how to make a reroot without using glue to secure the hair. Step 1. Separate the strips. This is not necessary, but when you use yarn, it tends to be thick when you fill all the holes on the head. Step 2. Insert the strip into the needle. Sometimes when I do this, I pull the strip a little so that it fits in the hole. Step 3. Grab the needle and push. When this is done, it is better not to throw too hard, even more when you have a very thin strip. Step 4. Take this trick and make a knot. For more security, it is better to make 2 or 3 knots and do it at the tip where it came off of the neck hole. And don't forget to cut off the leftover parts. And step 5. Pull in. And ready. Now to continue filling holes. Oh my god. I will be filling the entire line of hair grown. And that's almost done. Sorry for the backlight. I am not in my regular studio since I go on a family trip with my parents to the province of Los Santos and Veraguas, some places in my country. And in my Instagram story I put this, and in those days I stay ahead on the reroute and I could not take many photos del viaje. Very well, I returning home and as you can see, the head already has hair. What I will do is detach the streets with a pet brush to make it look like real hair. And now I will style this with a hair strainer. And that's how it looks, very shiny. 
off camera I made her pigtails, but don't worry, it is not the end result, since I want to have it for what I will do next, her mask. For the panther mask, I will do the same process as I did with Ruji mask, using a epoxy sculpt. This time I put masking tape around the face to have guidelines when I apply the clay. And I start working on the panther mask, the same one that Anne uses to call Carmen, her persona. I think making this mask was more difficult than making the Ryuji mask. The shots you see now are from my second try with her and it's the reason why I put masking tape on her face. But hey, everyone learns from their mistakes and it's all matter of practicing. Mm, maybe I can make the mask of Yusuke in the same way, who knows? And this is what the mask of Panther looks like, looking good. I'm going to try it on the doll's face to see how it looks. Hmm, it looks good, but I think something is missing. Off camera with more clay epoxy, I make her ears look more pointed. And I start sanding so it has a better contouring shape. Okay, now it looks much better. And now for the outfit. And for that, I wanted to make it with this shine red fabric that I think looks gorgeous. I cut the patterns to start sewing. Oh, it's very excited. This outfit will look great when I finish it. And then, the disappointment came. When I was testing the outfit on her body, I realized that the fabric I used did not stretch and reach, only in the tights. Damn it, I'm going to use another fabric. I hope the next one will be stretching. Well, I found this new fabric and I think it can work, so... I will sew again, fingers crossed. Okay, now I'm going to try it. Please work! It works! Now continue sewing the rest. And here we have the base of the outfit ready. I will leave the outside and I will start working on the boots with this fake leather fabric. The first thing I do is mark the patterns on the fabric and we continue with the rest.
I already have the form ready and now I will start working on the bottom. Off camera I work in the heels using a needle and more epoxy to begin painting them the same color as the boots. And finally the boots are ready. With these strips of silver thread I will use them to make the zippers around the panther's outfit and to join them I will sew them with silver thread to sew. Oh my god, it looks amazing! To finish it, I will sew these hoods where the streets begin. I love it! And to finish the outfit, I will make the tail using a copper wire as I did for Morgana. I will cover it with the fabric that is not suitable for the outfit. Well. Who will say that this fabric will do something? Well, I also use it on the boots too, so... Hmm. I use a potsy to make the base so I can paint them. Tail ready, now to my favorite part, the repaint. With pure acetone, I begin to erase the factory paint. And I begin to draw the base lines on the face and to able to do it I always pass a layer of Mr. Super Clear. This one is highly dangerous and toxic. Every time I use it to put another layer on I had to wear a mask outside. As always I try to recreate the beautiful anime eyes that this character has. My only challenge will be to draw the eyelashes that Anne has. The baselines are ready and I fill the eyes in white and the pupils I paint them with a light blue the same tone of her eyes so that the lids look more natural I put a little of soft pastel but not too much since the girls in anime do not have them very stuff We continue with the second layer and I begin to paint the eyelines with black. Base colors are ready, now I will give them more dimension with watercolor pencils. Thank you. 
so that the ribbon stands out more. I will pass a little of paint only on the black, white and a little parts on the pupils. Oh, and don't forget the shine in the eyes. Finally, ultra glass to protect the work. And we have Anne's face finish. She looks very kawaii in my opinion. Time to do the hairstyle. Anne has beautiful long and wavy hair with thick pigtails. And to give that effect, I will put around yarn wets of the same color, which I will glue them to tie them with a yarn thread. I will also put some hairpins because, well, when I'm building, I am very extra detailing. Now ready, with a mixture of water and glue, I will fix the hair so that I can style it with my fingers a little. And ready! As you can see, I even made her hair clip and earrings. For the gloves, I will paint each of the doll hands with pink. And to have a shiny effect, I will pass a mixture between water and ultra glass. Off camera, I made the top part of the gloves and also I painted with the same color. And to finish the doll, I will paint her mask. Also giving the same effect I did for the gloves. Alright, the mask is ready. And also off camera I made her weapons as much as the whip and the machine gun. And with all that the Panther doll is ready. Every detail I made for this character is unique and incredible, even I surprised myself. And well, it's all for today's video. Don't forget to sus- Huh? Well, apparently we have new scenery, and better for the next Persona 5 custom dolls. Thank you all for having to stay to watch this video, don't forget to like, 
comment and obviously subscribe to my channel. My name is Eric and we'll see you next time. Bye!